Are you guys really having twins? Yes, we are, man. Surprise! I don't even think it's twins. I think it's triplets. Hey, guys. It's Naka and Dominic. What's going on? You know what time it is. <sighs> Guys, we're about to clear the air. We're about to get right deep into these questions. Are you okay, Mom? Yes, I'm good. Dad. First question, are you guys really having twins? Yes, we are, mate. Surprise. No, we're not. I don't know how many times you have to clear it. We've <laughs> cleared it on TikTok, Instagram, here on YouTube. Like, if there's a rumor going on that I'm having twins and I'm hiding it. Or this, I want it. Shoot. Guys, there is yeah. no twins. Honestly, but at this point, we're starting to believe it is twins. Yes! <laughs> Uh, like honestly at this point I don't even think it's twins I think it's triplets it's literally like maybe it's quintuplets yeah so I don't the know. only way it's gonna be twins is if Naka gives birth and there's two and trust me guys we're all gonna be surprised yeah because no, people think we're hiding it yeah. I have people so many people like message me they're like why Every are you hiding video. that you're having twins that I know your stomach can't be that big I'm like bro yeah it's like it's uh, impossible like it's really not that deep like it's, it's not that deep I don't I don't know what to say man. I bet like they're placing bets on it too yeah. or something <laughs> like, guys, there is no twins. If Naka gives birth to two, we all gonna be surprised because yeah. multiple times we said there is no twins. Yeah. On my every stomach single platform, is just big. Mate, I have no a twins. lot of water in my stomach. The, the doctor said there's no twins. Yeah. The so ultrasound, you guys have seen it. There's no there's twins. There's no twins, you guys. Get, they, we showed the ultrasound we, we too. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, moving on. <sighs> Next question, does married life kill love in the relationship? Absolutely not. I don't think so. I don't know why there's that stigma. Like, I don't really understand. In my opinion, in our opinion, it's when you get married, nothing should change. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't act different when you're married. You should act different before married. Like, you marry a person, that person should be the same when they're married, right? Yeah, when we got married, I was just like, oh, it feels the same. Yeah, nothing like, changed. I thought that it would be different. So, but I was like, bro, it's literally like... Mm. You do normal. obviously get like, like a little high. Yeah, a little like high. A little high you know, at the like, beginning, ooh, like the honeymoon ooh, phase. And stuff back when my ring uh, could fit. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, guys, like if you're going on little dates before, if you're doing some quality things together, if you're doing surprises, that should continue in your marriage. Yeah. It should not stop just because you're married. Don't fall into a trap or like into the, the stigma. I think maybe there's a, a stigma because people are like, oh, once like they married, they're like secure. Oh. Time out. Man, you're gonna edit. Okay. Edit it out, Dominic. <laughs> It's like once you're married, like they 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 stop trying or yeah. whatever. Guys, th th that's why the divorce rate is so high. You know what yeah, I mean? Like you, you need to do trying. the same things you're doing when you're dating throughout your marriage. Mm -hmm. Marriage is not the finish line. It's literally the start yeah. of the adventure together, right? Literally. You should work harder in your marriage, if anything, right? Because you made a commitment to yourself, to God, and everything, right? So you should work harder, not less hard. So mm -hmm. it should be better. It should be better than when you're in a relationship. What he said. Uh huh. <laughs> Next question. Any serious pregnancy symptoms like you had at the beginning? Guys, my morning sickness came back. And we'll never left. <laughs> <laughs> But now it is more like a morning sickness. Yeah, now it's yeah. only in the morning. Like when I wake up and Sesame is hungry, I will throw up. Or like if I eat something that he doesn't like, he will make me throw up. And mm. the thing is like I feel him moving. Yeah. Like he's restless. Like let's say... um, He's a lot more active. Two days ago, recently. yeah. Two days ago I ate fruits and he hates fruits. So I went to sleep and he was like moving around. He was like, what is this, honey? And then I woke up like 10 minutes later, I threw it up. And then he was like quiet and he was relaxed. So it's yeah. like he's crazy. Like, Get this out of me. Yeah. Yeah. He punches it back up. I wonder what like he feels like when I eat something he doesn't like. What does it feel like for him? I don't know, like a, a hurricane, tornado. I don't and know. Next question, mate. <laughs> if she is sick though, it's not like before where she got sick after whole, every single yeah, meal, after every day. single, and it ruins the whole day, and it, it can last a day, two days, or whatever, and it's like every single meal. It's like now it's only one time. Yeah. Most and of the time. Usually it stops around one o'clock. Yeah, yeah. And then I feel better. Yeah, if we were to take a nap, she feels better. I think it's a lot better it's, of what I, I see. I wish. I wish this was my first trimester. Yeah, it would have been yeah. so much better. Like, but and there's no more medicine, so. Medicine. Yeah, <laughs> but all in all, it is way better. Mm -hmm. God is good. When will your maternity sh photo shoot be? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. When are they supposed to be? Let, let me ask now. you. Now. Is it now? Yeah. I thought it was third trimester. Oh, okay, maybe. I don't well, know. it looks like I am in the third trimester, <laughs> according to yeah, people. According... <laughs> when are they supposed to be usually? I don't when know When you have that. a belly. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't oh. matter. Okay. What are we going to do on the beach? Yeah, it's going to be nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. If I have energy, mate. You're going to have energy. Yeah. How are you dealing with stretch marks during your pregnancy? 
Maids, they're here. The stress marks, and it's weird because I only have them on the side yeah. of my stomach, literally right here. You can't see it on camera because in um, my baby shower video, I wore my bathing suit. You can, they're not visible. No, it's only when you turn to the side. Yeah, with so, the lighting, you see them. But I've always had stretch marks here on the side. But you, mm. mates, my body is an illusion when it comes to stretch marks. It looks like there's nothing, but they're actually there. But I think these stretch marks, once I give birth, they're gonna leave. Mm. So and she's putting oil two three times a day literally like so. religiously guys. Mm -hmm. I'm like oiled up every You've seen day. the videos in a couple morning routines night yeah. routines. Someone oil said shea butter uh, Helps like prevents stretch marks. That's a lie. At the end of the day I always say you can only do what you can do to yeah. any pregnant women like you can't control it Yeah, and you know Naka does worry about it all the time like you can't do anything about it You can only do the best you can do which yeah. is you know doing your regime your doing your routine and everything But at the end of the day it is what it is man. You, you can't do anything about it. Yeah, it could be work. Yeah. I don't know if mates. Imagine when I'm 35 weeks, my belly. I would say it doesn't bother me. And you know what's interesting though? It's like, I think a lot of stretch marks bothers more women than it bothers men. Yeah. Because I haven't really, like any of my friends, we like no one talks about stretch marks. Oh, you're not going to go for someone just because of stretch marks. So I think it's really like an internal bot, like an yeah, internal battle. Yeah, it's for me. It's yeah, not for exactly, you, mate. Yeah. I don't care if you like it or not. It's me. Like, yeah, it's I just, don't mind. No, because it's just like, mm, I have little marks on my skin. It's okay though. Yeah. We all have marks on our skin. No one's perfect, right? Mm -hmm. So next question. Your pregnancy experience has been so hard. Do you think it will traumatize you. Oh, that's a good that's question. That's a good question. I don't want to let it traumatize me, you know? So it's just like, but then I haven't given birth. It definitely has traumatized you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not traumatize is not the word. Yeah, because I feel like traumatize is a big word. It's a like, very strong word. Strong word. I it's think it just, has like caught you off guard. Yeah, it caught me off guard, you know? It has surprised you, has taken you aback. Uh, but I don't think birth is going to like scare me or anything because I already know it's horrible mm. and what to expect, right? I just didn't know pregnancy yeah. could be the way it is right now so it's just it's not what i thought it was but no it didn't traumatize it's not tr for me it wasn't traumatizing because like there's women that are in worse situation than me like i'm 25 weeks right now some women they go into labor mm. at 25 weeks some and women lose their children at 25 weeks yeah. you know that's traumatizing what i'm going through is and some some are how you used to be until birth. Until birth, you know. So, so I'm grateful for the way things are going now. And Sesame, like he's giving us no issues. Like mm -hmm. every time we go to the gyno, every test I do, like he's always perfect. I'm always healthy. So it, I have to be grateful for all these little things. I try to see the positive in the this situation that yeah. I'm given, you know, because th it could be worse and it could be better. But this is the situation that I'm in. I'm just grateful that our child is healthy and I'm healthy and no I don't think it's gonna traumatize me because it is what it is me I think in the moment obviously it does affect expectations for future children yeah. because before it was like you know we're gonna pop four or five but now it's like just seeing <laughs> the journey now it's like almost okay well two three you know what I mean so it just changed expectations I think for yeah. the future but again it's different well, because... we haven't experienced it well that's the thing yeah. and like the birth everyone says is hard right but at the beginning Nako was so excited for pregnancy right so yeah. it was like she was here, but then she just got crushed, right? Yeah. So, but with the birth and everything, you kind of know what to expect. And the second or third ch ch child, you know? Everyone says the second's better. So well, I'm like... we do know what to expect more yeah. now. Yeah. So there's be less surprises. But I, I never do, know. I do want more children, you know? I don't want to mm. just have Sesame. I want him, because I grew up in a large family and I loved it. And I want him to experience that. Have siblings. I love a loud house, like with mm. noises, you know? I like that. It's fun. We're going to do this again, mate. Mm. I always tell Naka too a nine months of sacrifice for a lifetime that's and, what someone said too and it's yeah. not just a way to put it as well is that it's not just a lifetime of your kids right but your kids will produce kids and they'll produce offspring so like your nine months of sacrifice can give a whole generation of joy and happiness right it can create a whole generation a whole lineage right so where's my crown me mm -hmm. that's right queen <laughs> All right, what is the real name of your baby son? Sesame. No. <laughs> like, we don't have a name yet. Like we've said, we're going to have two or three names and then pick one of those two or three at birth when we see him. Uh, but a couple that are on our list right now, like our top ones would be like Leonardo. Kiriku. <laughs> <laughs> Enzo. Someone said not to let me name the baby. Yo, that's what your brother said too. She would send names to her brother. Her brother's like, what is that? 
Bomb but, Cree Cree. Yeah, Enzo. Um, Kuru Kuri Kiri. Or like um, Alessio. We like Alessio. Alessio. Yeah, that's the yeah. nice name. Too. I think we're going for the Italian theme names because Dominic's mm. name is Italian. Italian Spanish. So, yeah, we're gonna go for that theme just because of Dominic. So. And where Sesame is gonna grow up. Yeah, and here obviously he's gonna grow up in the Latin country, right? So they have to be able to pronounce his name. Mm. And, and we have to be cognizant as well as how it's pronounced in yeah. Spanish, right? So obviously, like there's letters, like J is pronounced differently in Spanish than yeah. English or French, right? So just we, we gotta be. We gotta think of all the things, you know. Yeah. But yeah, we're super excited. That that's gonna be. We're gonna probably ask your opinion too. So we always we're say. We're gonna pick his name out of a hat. <laughs> we I've always seen that say, video on your YouTube. If you got suggestions, drop it down in the comment section down below. Yeah. What's the feeling knowing you're gonna meet your little bundle of joy pretty soon? I don't know. We ain't thinking about that. Yeah. To be honest. Everyone's <laughs> like, how how you feel? Are you ready? This and that's like. I don't know. Oh. Birth is is like meeting our son is not really on our mind like yeah. the way that we think often is like the next thing and like right now like the next thing is not just health Sesame's health or be our son's health and the birth right so like we're only trying to survive until the birth yeah it's survival mode here and then after the birth I think that's when the birth that's when it's gonna kind of sink in I feel like if I had a more positive pregnancy maybe we mm. would be more excited yeah. and all that stuff about it but it's just like I'm always so sick you guys so it's like we're always like oh my god how would on like, the edge like when i wake glass, up you know at night yeah. dominic's always like are you okay like do you feel yeah. like we're always worried you know we don't mm. have time to relax and like kind of like enjoy this pregnancy because it's just like it's very very stressful mm. so the little happy moments that we have it's like we cherish it together yeah. and we haven't really even taken like any pictures or anything like because it's, it's just, just it's been too hard yeah it's like we're walking on eggshells all the time every time naka gets up i'm like are you okay like something wrong it's like and it's, it's just like, like on the edge i don't really enjoy being pregnant so it's like i don't want to take pictures you know yeah. it's just like I don't like it you know so it's just but at least we have TikToks that, that's one thing that like we actually do by purpose too like every time that we do TikTok we write the weeks and you've seen that when we post them it's because I don't take pictures yeah so. and it reminds us like we can go back and be okay like how how did you look at 25 weeks and it's like the this because I'm yo, not taking pictures those even comments that like, you guys are just putting those, those weeks and it's like you guys are like 35 weeks yo, <laughs> you, you can't change that man like you, you can you can literally calculate from the weeks for the due date and like people ask for the due date you can just calculate when we put like 26 weeks you can literally just do the like the math someone uh, people were commenting oh i thought she gave birth already yeah like someone's like he's still pregnant like uh anyways guys <laughs> Mate, it's a it battlefield guys yeah. we're fighting for our lives hmm. next question what are your cravings now naka darling did they change oh that's sweet naka darling um, my cravings. Do I have any cravings, mate? Your I don't cravings? Think so. There's nothing like you actually don't really have salt cravings anymore. No. They went down a lot, and interestingly enough, I think your swelling went down. Yeah, guys, my yeah. feet are not swell swollen anymore. I don't she have keeps to elevate. Sometimes, not as much. Yeah, no, like, at, at night in bed. Oh yeah, yeah, I still do it at night, up. but during the day, yeah. I don't have to. Anymore. As much, yeah. So less salt. Um, yeah, there hasn't been too many cravings actually. Mm -mm. There is like the random moment where you're like, oh, I, I want like a, a pump a great fruit juice yeah you know? or like i want this oh, juice, I or, need grapefruit juice right? or like i want carrot cake i want you know these types but the of things i like i crave like sugary things but when i eat the cake I yeah feel like... yeah it's interesting it's very interesting it's very sad but yeah it's... and it's not like kind of again what you would expect or what we expect in pregnancy right because everyone's like oh your cravings are so strong it's this and that yo like, people were making it yeah. seem like pregnancy when you eat a food it's like your taste yeah. buds are and, and like heightened fruit explosion you know like, like oh my lord the, those candies when you're younger the the explosion ones yeah. that used to put the, the juice, juice I was pot, waiting for that I mean yeah. mates I'm eating good and it looks like it because I gained a lot of weight <laughs> But it's a struggle out here, so you're trying to find foods that stay in and then just stick to those foods, yeah. right? So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and give us baby names in the comment section. Mm. What you used to think names like Dominic, okay, Elicio, Kurokuro, Kiri. Anyways, guys, to the moon. Talk to you soon. Bye.